Okay, so it's generated something for us. straight into that epic song. Um, choose a poem to your idol. Ah, fuck it. I'm, yeah. This is not a kid's channel. I will be swearing. I am the last region. Let's go to Extreme Hills. Let's see what this does. Oh my god! This is, this is so much better than Minecraft already. Whee! Okay. We're in. And you can punch things. This is definitely Minecraft. Oh, did I just take ground pounds? I got some. Something. Ooh. There is a crafting menu. Brick building. Oh, hello. Oh, this is the world builder mode. That's quite cool. Oh, that's quite good. Build a block. We'll build a bunch of red. That's fairly cool. Right, let's let's not do this. That guy has a giant star on his crotch. That's it. Ah. It built me a house! Awesome! And there are people here! There's a skeleton! Okay, I'm not gonna attack that skeleton. That was slightly intense. Everything's going bang and flashing. What if that's an E? I don't know what any of these things are that's happening. Can I use this? Apparently I can, and it's epic. I'm driving a lawnmower and it's epic. What the fuck? <laughs> I am mowing. Is it a speed? Apparently there is a day-night cycle and the real-time shadows are moving very quickly. Can I not get back up here? <laughs> this is entirely shifted. I think my leg will. That's a horse. Oh, E is in it's epic again! <laughs> is it this is anything to get more support for the first time. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry. <laughs> Things keep happening, I don't know why. Get thump sound. Right, let's try this horse. Okay. <laughs> Why is there rotate my jump space or right click tap attack F or tap left click? Oh, that just made me oh. oh tapping, holding jumps. Holding it, holding it moves. Ah, okay. 
I'm assuming this is going to be like joystick control or. Oh, hello. So far it's so Minecraft. I'm not too much of a skydive if it's not. <laughs> not too much crafting. Right. We'll pause there. Okay, so I've played around with it for a bit. See a bit, about five minutes. Just to figure out what the hell is going on. Um and I think I'll fuck figured out why it sometimes goes into that sort of vogue um the the, the letterbox epicness it's when you find something new and the reason it was happening all the time was because i was finding so many new things so there's the characters so i found new characters called boy climber male paleontologist custom a oh custom a I can change him on a fly. Alright, that's cool. Uh, or, or you can unlock them for this ship. Ah, right, okay. So now I can be climber male. See, what happened was I just met climbers, these guys. And it went like, da da da, with the, with the thing and was like, okay, what now? I think that could be made clearer. And uh, you, you find these guys that go to the net, you could have their name tag or something along the bottom. Just something that goes, you found climber, male. You found a character, you found a thing. <laughs> also, you just randomly get the sky down, that is awesome. See that, see, I went dun -dun -dun and went swing and went into the corner. So I found this thing. This current version. Also, I'm going to put this horse out of misery. It did spawn inside a couple of bricks, so... There we go. Horse out of its misery. See? Big loud noise, it goes flying into the corner. Means that I have found that in... Here. So now I can unlock these. And... I can place it down in places. See? It's like, it's, it's just a creative thing. And all of a sudden, I'm now floating as sort of weird ass camera like avatar. That's not quite also, stuff like that seems to spawn randomly in the air. I don't know if that's, that's a bear. Hello, bear. That's a scaly bones. Haha! <laughs> Eat it. Can I ride a bear? Now, admittedly, as epic as this is, this is because this is the first time I've mounted a bear. It should say, you found a bear at the bottom. In some kind of... It's some kind of Kung Fury style of way. That is... That is... I've... I have managed to link Kung Fury and Lego. Whoa! Random shot of a bear's arse. Now, there's something over there that looks like candy. There's a candy cane biome. And I am riding a bear. This camera is terrible! Oh! Albatross. Or seagull. Or eagle. Eagle. And it can fly! Found an eagle. You need to fix the camera. Ah, oh, yes. Minecraft wishes it had this. So epic. Trees, blocks, eagle, my arse. <laughs> I am riding an eagle over a land of candy. Apparently that's just it. I wonder if that's like, you found a new land. 
It, it needs captions, it needs to tell you what you've just done, because that's confusing as all well. Character customizer. Oh, because I've got character parts now. Here, okay, hat. Here's my eagle. Alright, okay, I can get a cape, but I don't have a cape. Legs. Mountain climber. I hope hips. Glad it said hips. And not hands, only one like hand. Arms. Yeah, I kinda tell it I'm wearing. I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not gonna checks, but you know, it's close enough. No hair, no, I have hair. Heads. I'm not that cool. <laughs> ah, fuck it. I'm not cool just now. Let's get my climbing helmet. Okay. Whoops. You have me. Here we go. Exploring land of candy! On the back of a beer! That's a dragon. The flare wasn't anything. Dragon beer. Me on top of the dragon. That is everybody. Fuck the ego! I have a dragon. Screw the eagle. Oh, yes. Eat it. Eat it. You pink tree thing. I have found a new land. Yeah, okay. Mr. Wizard. Mm. Have I not met you before, Mr. Wizard? Come here, Mr. Wizard. Oi, Wizard. Mm. Ah, crap mm. at you. Mm. Ha ha! There we go. He finally stopped and I got it. Mm. Ah! Whoops. Ah, uh, sorry. Mm. I'm so angry I punched a tree. I lost my dragon. Oh, hello. Wow. Are you a biker? Motorcycle mechanic. Nice. Got a new hat. I got a warlock hat. Or I can help find that. <laughs> <laughs> Big eyebrows! No? No. Holy shit. That looks like Total Biscuit. That looks like... Jamie from the Mythbusters? He likes trees. Let's help him out. Oops! I didn't mean to do that! I mean to punch trees! The one thing you cannot do in this that you can do in Minecraft is punch trees. I 
admittedly, there isn't much survival to this, but then again, it's just pretty. Like, you can see the tilt shifting and the motion blur and all that kind of stuff. It makes it look, it makes it look pretty. Oh wow. This is an early access game and it has some awesome animation quality already. Clearly been doing this for a while. I mean, it's Telltale. Not tell Telltale, Traveler's Tale. Keep confusing those two, the T T. I mean, look how happy he is! I am that happy. Yay! And I've not even done anything, I've not built anything, I've just run around and been, been a silly bugger. <laughs> Tools. Paint. <laughs> okay, you paint things. Got his head in the clouds. I said it. I blew up a cloud with a dragon. <laughs> I think that's supposed to be me skydiving in. <gasps> Yeehaw! That is an excellent respawn mechanism. Let's land on the cake. This is just fun to, to, to just mess about. Let's let's try less of the messing about and a bit more of the. Over my caveman, cave woman. <clears throat> Here. Here is where we build with horses and snowmen on the borders of Candyland.
Well, I can go in the door. That's something. Ah, <laughs> and everything's one block off the ground. <coughs> oh, my house is terrible. <coughs> but of course, with all the different shape blocks, <coughs> and of course, every single thing you can do with Lego, you can do in this. Like, I... It's very intriguing initial early access. I'm excited for this. I want to see where they go with this. We'll see what the server's like. Because they will put, they are putting multiplayer in this. We will see what uh, they do with the multiplayer servers. They can do two things with multiplayer servers. They can host their own. Um, in which case they will have to police and moderate very heavily because there are children who will play this and there are nasty people who will play this. I mean, my first thing that I built was a house. What these other people will build will not be houses. The, the Lego MMO will have that problem where people built things that were touch inappropriate for children. Um, if they go that route, everything will be heavily policed and it may end up ruining the game because you t the, everything you build is at the behest of, you know, some guys in the... <laughs> well, in the hands of Warner Brothers, really. Um, and that might be alright for kids, but it will absolutely kill it for anyone probably over the age of eight. Option uh, two... Option two will be host your own servers, which the Minecraft currently does it. And if there is scope for hosting your own dedicated server, there is scope for modding it, even if it's only server side modding. Now, server side modding, what does it mean by server side modding? Well, you've seen in Minecraft server side mods like Tiny, and um, there are things like Hunger Games mods, they are almost purely server side as well. Um, and yeah, so a, a lot of a lot of Minecraft modding is server side based. Other things like Tech It and Technic Pack and a lot of the stuff that you can do in single player, that's all client side. And I don't I don't foresee them catering to client side modding, at least not right out the bat. If they do, then this has beaten Minecraft at its own game hands down from day one out the, out the door. But I haven't seen anywhere uh, about it actually doing that. <coughs> no crafting. There, no, there doesn't seem to be any actual crafting of new tools and things. Uh, there's no survival. Um, so client side modding, client side modding could be good to add that in. But this is Warner Brothers we're talking about, and I don't know if they'd let it. Tell um, Traveler's Tales. Traveler's Tales might be cool with that. I mean, they are. I've never really made a game that's been modding friendly, but. Then again, it, it really does depend on the way this goes forward as to what. First off, they need to make a good base game. Second off, they need to make be able to do something other than just build with Lego. Building with Lego is fun, but. The best thing about Lego was play. Making up your own stories with Lego. I remember when I was a kid, it was like, I don't have all Lego pieces, I built them ships, I built them bases, and I built them things, and I had a story. I made characters and told stories with my Lego pieces. And that is what you need to be able to do in this game. You need to be able to, say, build a castle, and then put people in the castle, and be able to do things with those people. So an adventure mode. If they did, like, Project Spark as well um, on Xbox One. That kind of thing. If they did a, if they, if they did this as like a Project Spark, where you say that, say that caveman, you could turn that caveman into a character, and when you go up to him, you could press E, and you'd be able to talk to him. Rather than him running away like a scared caveman, you could go up, you could talk to him, and he'd give you a quest, and he'd say, "I want snowman. I want snowman noses." So then. You go off, and you go and clean up the man. And so you beat up Snowman, 
And when you get up a snowman, you get snowman nose. And then you go back and you talk to him. And you go, I got a snowman nose. And it's a fetch quest, obviously. But it's a fetch quest that you would have made. And you can it's, it's, it's the idea of play. It needs to be more than just build. It needs to be play. And that's what this game needs. You build yourself a world. And you go, right. I've made a world. I'm going to put some bad guys in it. I'm going to put some good guys in it. I'm going to put some people who need rescued in it. I'm going to put dragons in it. I'm going to put spells in it. And you just have a sandbox to build something freaking awesome. That's what I want from this game. Put him back here. Let me save him. Dang, skeletons. Climb up a tree to get away from him. That is, that is brilliant. <laughs> it's safe, you can come down now. Thanks to me. I beat Big Dave. So let's see. Come back to this when they've added more features. I'll see you next time. <laughs>